Well, hello everyone. We are back out here in Berea on a beautiful sunny Thursday afternoon uh, talking some Titans. And the news today was that if Josh McCown is cleared to practice tomorrow with his concussion, Mike Pettin pretty much declared him the starter if he shows up and makes it through that practice pretty well. Right. Said it without saying it, so to speak. Uh, and, you know, listening to Joe Thomas today was saying that Friday is the most important day of practice, so we'll wait and see. We, we saw Josh in the locker room just briefly. He looked good, wasn't allowed to talk to us, but certainly seemed to be moving around pretty well. And, you know, I talked to a source today that said uh, Josh McCown is very optimistic that he will be cleared to practice tomorrow. He feels good. He's been feeling good all week long, and uh, he feels like he's going to be told that he is ready to start against the Titans. Of course, that's bad news for Johnny Manziel, who really wanted to start this game. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, Again, if, if Johnny gets in there at some point and wins a game or two, or or even if they lose a couple games, you, you know that this organization really wants to see what they have in Johnny. But right now, they want to win games. Right, and you know, the whole summer was geared towards Josh McCown starting the season. So I think it only makes sense that if he's ready to go, you have to go with the plan. Yeah, and let's and before the fumble, let's be honest, that was a terrific drive, a 17-play drive. And he looked very good in the dress rehearsal game against Tampa. So you understand why they, they want to see him back in there. Yeah, and you know, so it doesn't necessarily, of course, set up that showdown between those two highs trophy winners Johnny Manziel and Marcus Mariota but nevertheless uh, it should be a pretty good matchup if Josh plays now Dwayne Bowe he's getting better it looks like he might be back in the lineup this week yeah he, I think we all went over and spoke to him he said this is the first time he's dealt with a hamstring but he's had he's put a, a couple really good days together he seems pretty optimistic although he did say that again last week too yeah, we'll see. I think that uh, it would help Josh McCown if he had a big target like that yeah, at receiver to, to throw the ball to. Uh, we talked a little bit to Tayshawn Gibson today. We had the coordinators today. Uh, and you know what? They are all saying the same thing, that that was a defensive performance that they want to forget and to put behind them. And they're very, very confident that they will come back. They'll stop the run. The secondary will play better. What do you think? Uh, yeah, they, they'd better. They, they, you know, you'd have to think it, it couldn't get much worse. But again, you got a guy coming in here, albeit a rookie, had a perfect rating in, in his first NFL game. So I'm sure the Browns are going to want to step up, try to cause some confusion. I think this is certainly a more uh, a complex defense than the Tampa Bay Buccaneers showed last week. And, you know, I got a chance to talk to Danny Shelton a little bit today. He was not happy with his rookie debut against Nick Mangold. Of course, going against a 10-year veteran pro like that, uh, that's a tough way to start your NFL career. Yeah, you know, it's, it's funny because it seemed like the coaches, they were okay with his performance. But you, that, that wouldn't surprise you from a guy like Shelton. You know, wants to be the best, wants to be very good. That's why he got drafted as high as he did. So that doesn't surprise me that he wasn't happy. And, you know, all these guys trying to, again, rebound from what was a bad game for everyone. Twelve penalties, uh, you know, just the whole five turnovers, bad defense. So uh, they're looking for a much better showing on the lakefront on Sunday. And we'll have it all right here for you on Cleveland.com.